Hello, welcome to Adventure Build Gaming. My name is Ryan. In this episode, I'm going to show you how I painted these sump pirates for my up and coming Necromunda campaign that I'll be playing in. We're looking forward to it. I'll show you how I painted them. Let's go check it over on the bench. So before we uh, paint, uh, I need to assemble these, and I thought I figured I'd show you how I did it. I'm using just uh, my typical super glue I get from the dollar store. That's my go-to for most <laughs> super glues. But these are a little different minis than I'm used to. Uh, they're resin. Um, I've got them printed for me uh, by a friend named Andrew at Staring Down the Elephant, a local 3D printing uh, service here where I live. And he's done a bang up job of them and really did a good job very little, little cleanup in regards to mold lines and stuff like that because there's none. It doesn't work that way with uh, resin. There are flashing uh, pieces of uh, little resin so it is different to clean and deal with and you got to be mindful of that so there are differences. And these minis are from uh, a lovely company called Print Minis and they do a lot of fun stuff uh, which my buddy has a license with. So he printed these up for me, uh, Sump Pirates, which I was pretty excited for. I took my time the best I could. These are my first multi-part piece of resin. So it was a little different than uh, one or two pieces I've had in the past. So I had to do things differently. If you're doing any sanding with resin, wear a respirator resin is something you don't mess around with. These are really nice uh, multi-part figures for the most part. We had a little bit of troubles with them I did with anything with two arms because uh, they had to be slid on but the oh, I guess they all have two arms my bad. <laughs> I meant the joined two arms. Uh, the resin just wasn't as flexible as I was used to so it took a little bit getting used to but in the end I got it figured Got them assembled. They look banging. So, just gluing them onto bases. The bases are homemade, so I did, I guess, make something. They're standard uh, um, hollow bases, I guess they would call, uh, with a bit of a sculptor's mesh and a few other greeblies on top just to give it that, uh, I don't know, rundown tech sump look. Just gluing them to the bases. Uh, here's the captain of the group. Every good pirate group needs a captain. This guy's a beautiful model. I love this model. And he was a he was a dream to just paint. He is monopose, but that's okay. I went out, I primed them all black. My plan is to do a slap chop method that is the, what works best for me. I find it's really good for beginners too. So yeah, starting with the flesh and I work my way out when I do a slap chop. I find it's easier to do the, the deepest parts and work my way out for the most part. Um, doing a blue on the main color for the whole gang. Um, this was interesting as I'm used to um, using someone's pre-existing paint job and uh, taking their ideas and putting my own spin on it. So having not seen a paint job of this, kind of had to come up with my own design and own style which was a whole other challenge for me which was good I think that's what you need to do when you're painting is challenge yourself and that's from coming from me whose painting is still my least favorite part of the hobby but it's growing more and more on me the more I paint so made it up as I went along adding a little silver to metal pieces throughout the armor was kind of constant. It was not one fell swoop. I did it here, did it there, trying to figure out what I wanted <laughs> it to look like, and it changed a few times. But that's okay. I enjoyed it. The captain was one that I really tried to take that little extra time with, I'm trying to make him stand out a little more. So yeah, the main colors were blue and red. Tried to keep the rest of the tone muted. 
not as bright uh, as I will show you later. Anything that was painted silver or uh, metallic, I covered in a coating of brown, an assortment, different colors of the speed uh, paint line. I'd love to know what your favorite paints are. Uh, lately, it's been speed paints for me. It works for my painting style. I can paint fast enough that I get miniatures on the, the table and they're finished. And, well, I've had friends say they look good, so I must be doing something right. Comment down below. Uh, like and subscribe would be great. Helps out the channel. And really, what the stats are saying to me is like 90% of the people who watch aren't subscribed, so I would love a subscription. It uh, helps grow the channel. And, well, it is very encouraging to me as I carry on with what I'm doing. Another thing I'd love to know uh, from the viewers is if they have a favorite paintbrush, paintbrush line. Uh, in the pa last six months as I've painted more and more miniatures and terrain, I would love uh, you guys to comment down below on what your p favorite is so then I can go over that and go try them out because the ones I have are all cheap uh, dollar store and they're working great as you can see. I just would like a couple nicer brushes for the finer details. Oh yeah. With painting for me, it's definitely been something that I've grown, like I've been saying, over the last six months. Uh, I've enjoyed it more, even painting the eyebrows on this guy. <laughs> something I don't think I've ever done ever <laughs> before, so. This is what I was talking about earlier. Uh, anything with silver, I'm taking, uh, some brown paint, I think this one was one of the speed paints, and just going over the whole thing to darken it up, give it some uh, lived in look, I guess you could call it. Now on to the flesh. So I painted just a flesh tone. Now I'm taking one of the speed paint fleshes and going over top of it to give it the final fleshy look I don't know how to call it it's I've been liking the look of it and I can get a lot of variety in skin tones which is good because well we don't all look the same so yeah that's what I'm gonna do now moving on to the bases um, most of the base is painted silver a few other spots uh, the custom uh, base that I made so the little um, ribbed piece, that's uh, part of a zip tie. And the, the yellow pipe is just a little piece of plastic card pipe that I use. This is my own little rust technique. It's a Vallejo rust red, I think. And then I have a lighter rust on, on top of it usually to get that uh, newer look of rust. Mix it in. Well, this is a newer product. This is a Vallejo Street Grime or Corrosion, I believe it's called. I can't remember. It's not in front of me at this moment. I'm enjoying the look of it. I'm coming in any silver and doing the same thing I did on all the weapons and metal parts on the model to darken them up. I don't know if I, this step was needed, but that's okay. I've recently started using uh, these pigment powders uh, by Vallejo. I find them really neat. They are different. Um, this one is uh, Burnt Umber, I believe. And this one is Chrome Oxide Green, which is a brand new purchase I just picked up a couple weeks back. So. I'm looking forward to the using it more as I get into the sump of the underhive. So here they are before they get varnished. The powder is still dry. And here they are, finished. I hope you've enjoyed. And as always, I'll be seeing you on our next adventure.
you're not a pirate without a pirate ship. Till next time.